So in this uh, Google Spreadsheet tutorial, we're going to make charts. This is part two of a three-part video tutorial, and we're going to build upon the data we entered into our first spreadsheet in uh, tutorial one. So go ahead and open up your class enrollments, and you can see we have our data, data entered on the spreadsheet. Um, we are going to highlight cells A1 through A4, and there's two ways you can insert a chart. You can, include, you can choose Insert Chart off the menu, or you can just click on the Insert Chart icon on your formatting toolbar. When you get to the Chart Editor, by default, Google will automatically recommend a chart. But the first thing I notice here is that there's something wrong with my data. This is not going to represent the data that I have well. I'm going to click on column to see if it fixes itself, and it doesn't. And so I look at this and I go, oh, no, it's entering those the years, because they're numbers, as data instead of as headers. So I'm going to check this box here, use row 1 as headers. And that is beautiful. That is just how I want my chart to look. So before I enter it or place it onto my spreadsheet, I'm going to click on Customize because you want to add a title and you want to be able to change colors and add labels if you need to. So go ahead and click on Customize and we'll add a title. Call this chart Class, class Enrollments for Industrial Arts. And then if you just hit your tab button, it'll show up there. You can also make the title bigger if you want and change the colors and styles and things like that. The second option you have is um, to move your legend around. The legend by default is on the right and it usually is the best place for it, but sometimes you want your legend in a different area. So if you wanted to move it to the bottom or the top, you could go ahead and do it that way. The second, um, the other thing you want to do, I'm going to take it and put it on the right because you can put your axis labels below and to the left. So my horizontal axis, if I scroll down, I'll, I'll name it um, classes, just call it classes. And then you have to now change horizontal to left vertical and then you could put student enrollments as your vertical axis. And then I think other than changing colors, if you didn't want um, blue and red to be the colors of your data, you can go ahead and change that as well by going down to the bottom. And where it says Columns 2011, I can now make that a different color. And 2012, I can also change the color of that. So you have those options as well. Once you have the chart that you want, click on Insert. And by default, the chart will be in your spreadsheet. You can move the chart around. So let's go ahead and move it around. If you click on the, just click at the top, you'll see the hand. Sometimes you want the chart below the data. Sometimes you want the chart to just cover the data. Sometimes you're, you're going to do something with the chart outside of the spreadsheet. And I'm going to show you those options here. By clicking on the arrow to the right of the chart, I now have the option to edit, go back and edit the chart, obviously delete the chart. I can save it as an image to my desktop. I can publish the chart, copy the chart, which would put it on my clipboard for pasting, or move to its own sheet. Now, if you want to publish the chart, you just click on publish, and what you'll get is the HTML code to embed in any web page. So if you want web code, you can click on Publish. If you want to download it and save it to your computer, you can click on Save Image. Um, if you want to um, move it to its own sheet, just click on Move to its own sheet, and a new sheet will be created, and you can rename it and call it Carpentry Chart. Carpentry Chart. Now, even though the chart is on the next sheet, as with the other spreadsheet programs you've used in the past, if you change the data here, it'll change the data there. So that's all there is to it. 